Hi everybody, it's Jen from Jen's Rack, and I've been asked by the people at Baby Spa, which here's their product right here, to do a little video with just some tips on how to massage your baby or your toddler or your preschooler or even older than that. I know that my nine-year-old daughter loves it when I massage her. I am a licensed massage therapist in Texas, so what I am saying comes from the viewpoint as a massage therapist as well as a mom. So here's my information for you. Uh, my first tip, I would like to tell you, please use something natural on your child, especially if you're doing it on a baby or anyone that has sensitive skin. Um, using something that is as pure as possible with as many natural ingredients as you can is going to be so important because your skin absorbs so many things. It absorbs any kind of toxins, any chemicals, that kind of thing. So you're going to want to use something pretty natural. Um, I know some people that just use coconut oil or olive oil, something like that. That can get greasy and um, it just doesn't really provide the consistency that I like. Now, I've used this a few times, the Baby Spa Nourishing Massage Oil right here. And this product is really great. It has jojoba oil, it has grapeseed oil, and it has avocado oil. And it's 100% natural. Um, they consider it a stage two product. Here's the box. Um, stage two is for kids four and up. Um, honestly, I believe that you can use this on them from birth up. Um, you could even use it on your pregnant belly if you wanted to. Um, but I really believe that the four and up label is really more because they're more prone to putting things in their mouth and it really wouldn't be a good idea for a one year old, for example, to swallow it. So when they're four and up, they're a little more responsible around products like that. But anyway, I like this because it's 100% natural. Um, it's fragrance free, doesn't have yucky odors, and it has a really good texture for doing a massage on your child. So that's my first tip. Second tip, let me see, massage at any time. Okay, it drives me nuts when people say, oh, just try massaging your child at bedtime. Okay, sure, that's an awesome time to do it because they're sleepy, they're usually pleasant, you know, they want that bonding time. But really, you can do it any time. I know with my kids, sometimes massage is a good way to uh, relieve some of their tension or to kind of calm them down when they're really stressed out or kind of having a hard time. So massage them anytime. I like to also massage my kids like when they're watching TV and not paying too much attention. All right, next tip. I have to look at my sheet here. Okay. When you're massaging your child, use a light massage or an effleurage. Um, do light strokes. Don't really start kneading into their um, sore spots. That's something that over time, if you're going to do massage on a regular basis, when you're doing those light strokes, things like that, it'll break up some of that tension. So if you're doing it regularly, you'll get down to the further down tension, like those knots and the sore spots that you feel. You'll get down to those eventually if you do it light. Really, you just want to make it an enjoyable experience for your child, unless there's some sort of a condition where they really need it to be worked on. And I would leave that to the pros. But if you're just doing it for some bonding time with your kids and to sort of help them relieve some tension and um, de-stress them a little bit, just do the light massage, light touch, and enjoy that experience with them. Okay, um, massage is going to be the most effective on their bare skin. That's why I recommend something like this, nourishing massage oil, because if you're touching their bare skin, there's just something about touch. I mean, you can do it through clothes, but it's sort of like um, when a baby's born and they need that skin to skin. There's just something about that skin to skin that's just a lot more healing and um, it's just the tactile experience is totally different. So when you can, definitely do it on their bare skin. Um, also, talk with your child about the massage. Is it hard enough? Is it light enough? Do they like it on their legs? Do they like it on their hands? Do they like it on their scalp? That's a place you could definitely get it. Um, you know, what kind of techniques do they like? I know that when I was little, we would try and walk on our parents' backs or something like that, you know, as a massage. I don't know if that's really considered massage when you're after, oh, I don't know, higher than about 35 pounds. But anyway, <laughs> um, but ask them what they like and what they don't like. And you know what? If you have older kids, you might ask them to return the favor for you. I know that my daughter loves to give massages and I actually catch her rubbing my son's feet sometimes. Um, and it's kind of cute. So Anyway, massage can be fun for everybody, and these are just a few little tips. I'm going to do a video here in the future, I'm not sure, probably in the next week or two, um, with some techniques that you can try, and I will use my two-year-old as an example. But they're techniques that you can use on babies, toddlers, preschoolers, and up. So anyway, I hope that you will check out this Baby Spa Nourishing Massage Oil, and I hope to see you back when I do my video with the actual techniques on how to do it. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for checking in.